Hi, and welcome back to Intro to Python. Um, I'm, I'm glad I'm going to get going. All right, so this time we're talking about uh, dictionaries first. So a dictionary is like a list. Um, however, it is un, uh, unordered. Um, so when you're calling things back from a dictionary, it, um, it's fairly random on what you would get if you try and do it in order. Um, so the index has been replaced by something called a key, which allows you to access the variable or the value that's attached to it. So this is called a key value pair. Um, and let's just take a quick look on how to do that. So to create um, an empty dictionary, it's just uh, curly braces. Then, excuse me, if you want to add something to it, you, you add some sort of um, name or variable to the dictionary and then you can assign a value to it, so adding my name to it. And then what we can do is we can use the same uh, the same format to access it. So edict uh, name. And let's take a look at that. So as you can see, by accessing the key, it gives me access to um, the the value in there. So if I wanted to create a dictionary without having to individually enter the items, what we can do is we can do um, our key followed by our value, comma, another key. And the thing to note here is that um, you can assign any variable type that you want as um, the, the value. You can even add a list or another dictionary in there if you want to get really complicated. Um, so again, if we run this, it's going to give us our name back again. If we change this to age, look up, it's 39. If we just want to print the dictionary, uh, it gives us the original um, order. However, that order can change, so it, it's not necessarily the best thing to do just to print out the dictionary. Um, so we've seen that we can create these, um, then we can delete them like we would um, a member of a list. So if we wanted to delete age, we would just do it like that. And then we'll see that um, age is no longer part of the dictionary. There we go. Um, then we can treat the values of the individual keys just like we would a, um, a member of a, a list. We can go through and we can just change what it's uh, associated with. Um, or we, we can add something at a certain value, we can um, change the value of something, or we can do um, expressions on, on the values that are already set. So if, if you've got, a, um, if you've got a, a list there, or if you've got a uh, string there, you can use concatenate or repetition or whatever you want to do there. Um, so some useful methods. Um, so if you use the keys method, so Getting rid of that. And if we print dict.keys, you can see that we've got the two keys, name and age. If we want to print the values, we can do that, and it gives us our two values. Um, if we want to see the whole dictionary, we can use items. And we can see there that we've got the, the whole dictionary listed there. Um, so get is um, a slightly separate way to do things. Um, uh, get will return the key if it has a, a, um, a value associated with it. Um, and get alt will return the value associated with the key, otherwise it will return whatever it is that you want to return. Um, possibly something like um, key not found. 
Um, and this is useful for when you're trying to see whether or not there is a particular key in your dictionary before you add um, either create the key or add something to the key. So if, 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 you're, if you're counting something and you haven't started counting this particular thing yet, you can check to see if the key is there. If the key is not there, then you can create the key and then um, set it to zero and start counting from there. Um, like, like lists, um, aliasing and copying um, is required if you want to um, either have a new reference for your dictionary or if you want to um, have a copy of the dictionary. However, unlike using the um, square brackets and the um, colon for lists, you use the dot copy um, method for dictionaries. So now we're going to talk about recursion. Um, recursion is a um, is a, an algorithm, a method for um, solving problems. So what you want to do is you want to break up your problem into itty bitty parts that can be easily easily solved. Um, so this easily solved thing is called the base case, um, where it, it's just a simple um, answer to a a simple expression or um, an alternate something that didn't work, so you send back an error case. Um, the each re recursive call, because the recursive function must call itself recursively, um, must change its state. And let's take a look at that in our binary search algorithm. So Oxford students have already built a binary search algorithm as their previous homework. Um, if you don't know what a binary search algorithm is, um, pause and go check out um, Wikipedia. It'll explain it perfectly fine. So binary search means that we've got a list and a sorted list, excuse me. We have a sorted list that we want to find some sort of target and see whether or not it's there. So to start the, the list, we start with the zero for the lower and the um, upper boundary is the last member of the list. So if the list equals one and the or the length of the list equals one and the um, only member of the list equals the target, um, we return the target or we return the, the index. Um, else we return minus one to show that it's not part of the um, list and I've forgotten part of this. Um, then, so what we do to start testing things and the reason we use binary search lists is because we want to we want to not have to check every member of the list. So if we've got like a million entries on our list, um, we don't want to have to search through the entire list um, a million for a million operations to be able to do this. So what we can do is we can reduce the, the time order of complexity down to log two of the length of the list by doing this. So if the current test member is the target, we return the test, um, else, if, sorry about this guys, elif um, lower is greater than or equal to upper, we return minus one. Um, so if, if our current test isn't the target, we were, um, and our lower boundary is equal to or greater than our upper boundary, we return minus one to show that our element isn't on the list. Else, if um, our test element is greater than, this is reversed. If our test element is less than the target, no, if it is, Yes, if it's less than the target, then we want to shift our search to the upper half of the um, the area of the list that we're searching. Otherwise, we want to uh, continue to search to the lower list, the lower half, and we continue to recursively call this so that we continually cut our search area in half at each step. Um, Please do read the chapter on this. It gives some um, other examples, um, but th this is a rather complex 
uh, bit of computer science to get your head around. Anyway, so please read the chapters on dictionaries and definitely read the chapter on recursion. Um, Oxford students obviously will get their email this week. Um, and if you like the series, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.